Pisces, welcome to Illuminated Tarot. My name is Jenna. Today I'm here to do your reading for mid-February. We're going to take a look at your overall general energy for the next few weeks, what you may not see coming, and get some important advice from Spirit, among many other things. I'm going to do quite an extensive spread today. We're going to jump right in with some oracle, but really, it really pairs well with the tarot. So let's get started. Thank you for tuning in, for sharing this space with me today. It's a pleasure to welcome you here. Let's see what your spirit animal guidance is for the rest of the month. And thank you, Spirit, for presiding over this reading for Pisces. Pisces, birthday month. Happy birthday, you all. Happy birthday. I hope you enjoyed the last reading. It was profound. Ooh, too many. Four. Wow. Get a lot of animal friends. I haven't met a Pisces who doesn't love animals deeply. All right. Ooh, antelope. Antelope. Decisive action. Okay. You are being told unequivocally that it's time to get moving. Set your intentions and take action toward making your dreams a reality. You have a door in front of you. Trust your instincts, okay? Trust your instincts, okay, Pisces? You gotta take action on making an important choice, okay? That's going in the direction of making your dreams a reality, okay? Beautiful. And antelopes, they take flying leaps. The ones I've seen, like, you know, in the Serengeti, they, choo, they take, so you might be really, you know, taking decisive action in order to leap forward, okay? Let's see. What is your angel guidance for the rest of the month? Angel guidance, spirit. What is the angel guidance? What does the angelic realm have to say to Pisces? Okay. 12, 12, persistence. Oh, happy day. An ample opportunity related to your life's purpose is just around the corner. Take immediate action once it pops up. Of course, a lovely partnership or an epic romance is also in the cards. Okay. I love the and epic romance. I love the sound of that. Maybe you've been very persistent when it comes to your love life. Shift, enthusiasm, gratitude, contentment, and new experiences. Ooh. Especially being your solar return. It's a time of the year where you are wrapping up previous cycle, about to embark on a new adventure, okay? In the new year, right? Birthday month's always fun. We we feel a lot a lot more resonant, right, with with our own energy during that time of year. All right, let's jump right into your tarot spread. See what the tarot has to say. It feels very positive. I don't know. I, the epic romance keeps jumping out at me. Epic romance. That sounds like fun. <laughs> Whether you're in one or you're waiting for one, or maybe not at all. Maybe you're in love with life. That's your epic romance, right? For those of you who uh, choose to stay celibate or perpetually single and happy, right? Not all of us need partnership to be happy, right? But for those of us who are loving being in union with someone, that's beautiful too. Okay. Okay. Queen of Swords, walking into the energy. Queen of Wands, ooh, that's a beautiful balance. Beautiful balance between your heart and your head. Wow, that's awesome, all right? And for those of you men out there watching, this is your divine feminine, okay? Being in beautiful balance here, right? Between being soft and supple and wise and also bold and courageous, it's time for you to be as charismatic as Pisces are capable of being, right? Moving through those emo that emotional realm. I feel like you're getting excited about something. All right. The challenge, the three of wands, waiting on a new opportunity, right? Maybe being that persistence is going to pay off, the patience, right, required for that. Recent past, nine of swords, okay? You might have had, um, I'm sorry, not nine, five. Five of swords, some sort of stalemate. Um, some sort of, I heard, just heard foregone conclusion. I'm not, I never hear that. A foregone conclusion. Someone is saying that to somebody. Okay. 
the wheel. Beautiful opportunity. Major changes, major changes, faded changes, okay? The wheel is in motion, okay? Riding the wheel. Well, you know, it's funny. There's, there's so much of sweeping water around this wheel, okay? I believe you're getting excited about something. Okay. <laughs> now I know why. A lot of you are calling in new love or you're starting to get to know somebody new this month or in the recent months, okay? It feels new, new love, okay? For those of you waiting, like I said, epic romance. Epic romance. Knight of Cups, overall general energy. That's an external energy. Someone's bringing their heart to you, Pisces. Someone's bringing it. Okay. Oh, I'm getting a real strong romantic vibe. I'm a true romanticizer. She's a bit tamed. I had to put her in her chair at one point in my life in my healing journey because she, she tried to rule too much. <laughs> you romanticize people too much, get you into trouble, get you into hot water. And not the good kind of hot water, right? And not the bubbly hot, hot tub water. This was like, uh, I need to get out of this tub. It's too hot. Um, the kind where you put your toe and you're like, oh, I just drew that bath too hot. All right. This feels like a solid, solid level-headed romantic energy <laughs> Ooh, what you don't see coming eight of swords okay we'll see why that's there underneath that the emperor you get maybe two people what's going on here we'll see what's happening eight of swords we'll move that over so i met for him okay okay we're gonna get into the right of weight here traditional interesting interesting this eight of swords she's she's talking to me right now y'all I think you want to make sure you don't get trapped into anything. Um, this is also the card of having a lot of obstacles in the way. Um, maybe you're trying to remove some obstacles when it comes to receiving love, trusting love, obtaining love, any kind form of love. You've been held back a little bit, feeling like there's no wiggle room. We'll see why that's there. Maybe you've been feeling trapped in a love situation and you're trying to Resolve some things. Let's see. We're just going to shuffle one more time. And I'm sorry for the noise. It, it is what it is. Ooh, yeah. You know what? You've got conflict going on when it comes to someone that you love. Mmm, it doesn't feel good. Another five of swords. Hmm. It's like time to get off the battlefield, right? This, 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 this uh, has gotten stale. It's gotten old. Five of swords is definitely when you're like, okay, we need to give up the fight. All right. It doesn't mean you're walking away from someone. Some of you might be, but it's like, we can't keep fighting. We're just going to keep going round and round. All right. Okay. And those are the kind of people, if you can't see eye to eye, you know, it's like, I'm hearing truce. It's like, you got to come up with some sort of truce because you don't want to perpetuate any kind of chaos and drama with other people. All right. It's just not worth it, y'all. It's just not. Okay. Why is the Knight of Cups here? I want to go straight into this. What is this Knight of Cups? Someone bringing in. This is an external energy coming toward you with love on their minds, in their heart space. Page of Cups. Six of Wands. Knight of Cups. Oh, my God. You may have been just been, I'm fighting for love. I am fighting. This is the person I want. Wow. I mean, if I ever wanted to read for new love, or a, a renewal in love, uh, you're feeling pretty happy about this person coming towards you. We got two Knight of Cups. I hope you don't have two people coming towards you. That might be why you're like, uh-oh. Two Knight of Cups. Oh my gosh. Pisces, what is going on with you? I'm telling you, you're shining bright, right? It's your solar return. I'm shining, shining. What's happening here? You're feeling pretty happy about the love in your life. That's all I know. Someone could be really, really giving it to you, right? in so many beautiful ways. You just feel all lovey-dovey. I'm telling you, I felt this romantic energy when I started pulling your spread. So, and this epic romance really jumped out. I'm telling you, this has epic romance written all over it here. Epic romance. Wow. It's making you feel on top of the world. This is the overall energy for the next couple of weeks. And if it's not about romantic love, this is the love in your life, right? The people that you love, you know? The zest for just being alive in this world. It's like you've got a new lease on life, Pisces. Your heart is so full. I'm not sure why, but ride it, man. Like, you just keep going on that one. That I would just 
take that horse as far as you possibly can. You want to, this is an energy you want to stay, right? Wow. Wow. I really am awed by that. It's very rare for me to get two Knight of Cups, a Page of Cups, and a Six of Wands. That's just, I mean, let's just, I want to show you here because they're so beautiful. These are beautiful, um, the depictions. I love the colors, but I can never hold a lot of cards at once. Let's see, just so you can see. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, seriously. Seriously, Pisces. What are you guys doing? I need some of your all mojo. What, what is this mojo going on here? All right. Knight of Swords, you got someone fighting for your heart. Maybe you have multiple people competing. Sometimes Five of Swords can be, you know, someone trying to win you over here. And, uh, wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be a fun love story today. All right. What's the Queen of Swords? This beautiful balance. All right. You... The, the current energy coming into the reading, the basis of the reading, you're embodying this beautiful balance, right, between the Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands. There might even be another woman here involved. It's strange. Um, interesting. I'm not sure why. Because uh, you have another woman crossing you. Um, this could be male, where you have tried to decide between two women. Or um, this could be same sex. Or it could be you, right? coming into a beautiful place of balance, okay? It's going to speak to all of you differently. But you are, um, you know, the Six of Swords is, is often what we have to leave behind quickly, okay? And I believe it's you being in a position of, I'm going to be completely logical. I think you're manifesting so much incoming information that you're, you're, all, you're not rowing away from something. You're like, I'm ready to go. Let's go. Uh-huh. Let's go. Yeah, but you're being logical about it. Whatever you're moving toward, whatever you're opening up to, you know you manifested this. And it's like, Spirit is saying, trust what you've manifested. You don't need to doubt it or question it, okay? Look at this. I mean, you are definitely in a position here where you, you are, you're, you're opening up, right, to your manifestation here in a very logical, balanced way, okay? Love seeing that. Pisces, opening up receiving this beautiful information, news, someone pouring their their energy into you. You might have someone traveling to you to be able to spend time with you, all right? And, and that could be happening in the next couple of months or you're planning for that in the next couple of months. And it's it's definitely getting you very excited. You've manifested a new opportunity and you could be at a distance with this person. Um, there might be, this might be a, a beautiful, epic, long distance romance. Ooh, those want to come out. Wow. Pages. Wow. Queen of Wands. This point of attraction, right? This, I feel like it's the bond between you two. It's like you could be moving mountains to be together. All right. This person could be trying to move mountains to be with you or you them. I'm telling you, mountains are being moved and so much bliss and happiness and harmony is, is, is coming in right now, Pisces. The Page of Swords or coming in in the next couple of weeks. Some of you, it's a couple months out, but you know something big is coming, and it's big, very big, all right? Ten of Cups. Some of you have been in a an involvement where you have come into a deeper state of balance by being with this person, okay? They're your, your yin to your yang, right? The peanut butter to your jelly, like... The peas, two peas in a pot kind of energy here, all right? And you've done nothing but grow and learn and feel guided, right? This is the fates have guided you over and over again towards this person, all right? For those of you who are in this beautiful partnership that just keeps getting better and better over time, all right? So I'm seeing so much love. This could also be the love you have for your children. It's just you're, rec you're recognizing how lucky and blessed you are, Pisces, how lucky and blessed you are to have the love in your life and the happiness that you embody because of that, right? I'm telling you, you're in love with your life. I just did a reading for Scorpio like that, falling in love with your life. I feel like you already are there. Scorpio's starting to learn how to do that. Pisces, you're already there. You're already in love with your life. Certainly looks like that way in the cards. Let's find out, though, what happened here in the recent past. This Was it a competition, some sort of stalemate? some sort of conflict. Let's see what's happening here in the past. Knight of Pentacles, Temperance, the sun. Wow, I'm, I'm actually getting a vibe like a knight. Like, you know, like a, a knight that had to like, 
You know, the, back in the medieval days where knights had to like fight to prove their value and their valor and they get the woman, right? I mean, this is a very traditional read I'm getting here on this card, but because it's coupled with the Knight of Pentacles, Temperance and the Sun, I think you waited a long time and you fought long and hard to, to be in a position to welcome in a high vibration love, okay? Like you fought hard for either this relationship or to actually get to a place to call this in. You have fought hard. This is your fight within you and your and your own, <laughs> you and your universe, right? But it's also, there might literally be other people fighting for your attention, okay? And it's been a slow process of coming into balance with self, okay? In order to manifest these beautiful incoming energies. If you fought for your happiness, and it was, it took time. I think it's taken you a long time to get to this place, okay? It's almost as though you're standing up for your right to live a happy and balanced life. And whatever challenges come your way, you're like, I know how to fend it off, Jenna. You know, I got my shields, I'm standing on them. I got my swords. You're very well equipped to handle whatever comes at you, Pisces. I'm seeing that. Mm, it's almost like you've taken the, your own reins in your own life, but taken the bull by the horns and... <laughs> It's, and you might even be protecting the ones that you love or feeling deeply protected by the people around you. There's this feeling of protection. This, this someone's like fights in your honor, right? I don't know. There's someone very honorable around you who has a lot of integrity, a lot of integrity, and it makes you really happy. Wow. You called in something beautiful here. Seriously. Pisces, you've had these beautiful readings lately. This this is about love this time. I'm excited for you. Even if, you know, it depends on what love means to you and what kind of love you're looking for. But love is here. Romantic or platonic, you got a lot of love around you, Pisces. People are loving the Pisces energy. Three of Wands is the challenge here. Let's go into the wheel, though. What has fortune brought you? What has the hands of fate brought you, Pisces? What is your opportunity? Let the wheel turn, right? Ace of Pentacles. Justice and the Queen of Swords. Oh my God. A lot of you men out there watching, you have a beautiful queen by your side. Oh my gosh. And is she ever so beautiful and balanced? And you feel blessed by the gods. Others of you, this is you, Pisces, really coming into a place of balance. Rightfully so. Wow. You've, it's like you are ruling. Look at, she's a fair and just leader. Okay. Look at her. She's reaching out. She has the sword of truth guiding her and she makes beautiful decisions. You have gained so much wisdom and you feel like there's been a lot of divine justice. This is divine justice. It's almost as though your karma, your good karma is coming in this year. I feel it. Pisces, you've got the good, good karma coming in because you've made the right decisions, all right? Fair and just decisions. You could have any sort of legal thing going on. It's going to be ruled in your favor and there's going to be a, a money coming in as a result of it. This is fair and just, okay? The, the, uh, was it the, uh, the gods have spoken. Wow. You've earned it. You've earned it. Okay, Pisces? Goodness, this is so amazing. This reading is amazing. This reading, I'm gonna say it, it's amazing. I love this reading. I mean, you're on a high note here in, in a lot of aspects, in self, with the people around you. So much integrity. There's, I just feel that's raining through all the reading here to integrity, integrity, integrity. In, in, how, in your dealings with others, in, in the rightness of your life and the rightness of the world. And it's just, there's something fair and just going on and it's karmic, okay? It's your divine birthright to be where you are right now, to be receiving what you're receiving, to have these gifts come in. It's almost like your divine gifts are coming in, monetary gifts are coming in, success, love. You're, you're feeling, you're like feeling, you're riding high. That's all I know, you're riding high very high and you're like anybody who's gonna who's who's doesn't belong back off 
what is this um, distance? Something that you're looking at, gazing on, waiting for this opportunity. You have an opportunity. The Ace of Pentacles, there is a opportunity. And it's, it's, your, it's like divine justice. The Queen of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Emperor. Good Lord. You are embodying major energy. I'm telling you, you have gone within. Your challenge is to, is to, we're talking about stability, the deepest stability possible in your life. Something is happening, Pisces, with you all. There is something profound happening with you all. A level of stability that is like the rock of Gibraltar. I mean, you got the rock of Gibraltar here. I don't know if it's someone coming into your life and the challenge is, is you're waiting and you know it's going to happen, or this is literally someone who you have a distance, long distance affair with, a love affair, love epic romance going on, where you're like, I am waiting for my king to arrive. They live, you know, over yonder. <laughs> or this is you really embodying true balance. And the challenge is, how do I maintain it? Well, you keep going inward. You keep going inward. You keep doing the work on yourself, okay? You still have this beautiful vision. You're ready to rule the day. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye. Pisces are ruling the day, okay? Wow. I, I am blown away by, by the energies of this reading. Big, bold, assertive, confident. And, and so much integrity in, in how you're operating. And how you're receiving the energies around you. Wow. So much balance, y'all. So much balance. You've gone on a deep dive inside into your interior world. And you have so much hope and faith in what is happening. The challenge is to keep the faith. The challenge is to keep going inward. The challenge is to stay in balance, okay? And, and it could be really staying in balance in this partnership, okay? For some of you. I mean, you're, you're in a beautiful time in your life. That's all I know. This Ace of Cups, someone's generously giving to you. Generously. In all the beautiful ways one can give. You are ready to receive it. You are ready to receive it, Pisces. This is extraordinary. Truly. Ace of Cups in the near future. The world. The Nine of Pentacles and the Fool. <laughs> This is one of the most positive readings I have ever done. I did have somebody do a love reading and it was like all the cups, all the beautiful cups. And I was floored. This is truly, you are dominating wealth, abundance, independence, hope and faith. You're in a brand new beginning in love. A lot of you, this is a beautiful brand new beginning in love. And you have so many high hopes because this person is showing you what it means to be truly loved in the healthiest of ways, in the highest timeline you can possibly create. I'm telling you, Scorpio's reaching for it. You're like, I am in it, Jenna. I am in it. You've been so disappointed in the past. So disappointed. Not anymore. Not anymore. Goodness. You're wrapping up the end of a cycle, and you know this next cycle is going to bring you, wait for it, everything you could ever, ever, ever dream of. Abundance, independence, feeling foolishly in love. You, you are living or are about to live in the higher echelons of an epic romance. <sighs> I, I, I feel like I just need to drop the mic and just walk away because I'm just like... I don't even know what to say. I am, I'm speechless. This, this reading has left me speechless. And, and I can talk y'all, but I'm speechless. Goodness. You're going to have quite a year, quite a year. Some of you, this is all unfolding this year. Others of you, this is already, this ball's already rolling and you wake up excited. You go to sleep excited. Mm, you got their t-shirt with their cologne or their perfume next to you. <laughs> Or them literally. I don't know. There's there's some big stuff coming your way in the near future. Oh, God, you're going to fall madly in love. And you're going to maintain your independence. 
Okay, no codependency here. Thank you very much. Wheel of Fortune, the Six of Cups, and the Knight. Yeah, you're telling me that you've come out of a phase where you were really wounded, probably by multiple people, Pisces. You felt trapped in other relationships. What you don't see coming is that you're coming out of this feeling of woundedness and entrapment. I do believe this. And you are opening up into a brand new, divinely guided soulmate contract, okay? It's here for you. It's time. It's your time, Pisces. It's your time to come out of this feeling of restriction, of being wounded, of being on your own. You're opening up to a brand new beginning. Wow. Yay. I'm like giddy with excitement for you all. Yay. All right. Let's see. Let's go into the modern tarot to get your advice from spirit. I mean, I, this is, this is epic y'all. Speech us. Speech less. Yeah. You've got a, you've got a cycle ending. Okay. And this new cycle, it is nothing but stable. We're talking stable, rock of Gibraltar, stable. Ah, wow. Okay, let's see advice from spirit. Advice from spirit. Huh, no more wrestling with people's egos. Yeah, you're taking life by the reins. You're like, nope, not wrestling with anyone's ego anymore. You are no longer going to have ego love. You've decided. No more relationships dominated by egoic patterning. I am after, I am determined, right, to build something stable in my life. And that is, and Spirit is saying that. You are no longer going to be wrestling with ego when it comes to building your happily ever after. Okay. You've learned so much from that, Pisces. Now, it's all about fire, passion, desire, love, being lit, illumination. You're being illuminated when it comes to receiving so much happiness. I think because the only way to get to this place is you got to find happiness within. It's the only way. You found it, and now you're ready for your new beginning. You're ready to bring your energy and share it with, more with people, with others, with a, counter, a divine counterpart. This is the divine counterpart written all over it. Some of you are already in it, and you are trying to dissolve the egoic patterns in your wounding, building a safe nest, right, of growth together, mutual growth. Others of you have done a lot of wrestling with your and taming of your ego in order to reach this pinnacle, right, in your growth so you can call in. Most likely marriage, love, long-term happiness, okay? Wow. All right, let's get a final message. We're going to pull a magical spirit oracle, okay? I was just looking at where the, the um, booklet is. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow. Speechless. Speechless. Rebirth. A lot. I'm telling you, you the third or fourth sign. You're my 11th reading in this series that has gotten this. Everyone is going through this extraordinary rebirth right now. You especially. I want to say, uh, I can't remember who. Maybe it was Libra. I don't know. But there, there's something um, going on in the collective right now when it comes to being reborn and made anew. It's time to leave the old behind, shedding the chrysalis, taking risks. Number 13 breaks down to four, meaning you are definitely building a new level of stability in your life because you ain't playing around. You want to make sure you invest in things that are here to stay. Okay, things that are worth your time and your energy. You don't want no one hit wonders. All right. <clears throat> Sorry, I just needed to drink some agua. I release all that doesn't serve me. I embrace the new. Love that. You are embracing nothing but new right now. Wow, or soon. Goodness, this, is, this has been unbelievable. 
Your soul is calling for a rebirth of some kind in some aspect of your life or being. The bones of your past and of who you once were are meant to be shed, left behind, honored and praised as the sacred things that brought you this far. Bless them. But then you must leave them far behind in that lonely desert of transformation so they can be one with all the other last and dying things which serve the world as nourishment. I love that. It's like what we discard, it still nourishes the world, right? And in time, even as seeds, have little remorse. It's okay to grieve the letting go, but don't foster guilt for things undone. Rather, hold a wide openness and fierce curiosity. I got a little mark there. For all that is to come within that new space inside you, as unfamiliar as it may feel, it is the next step to getting there. There is so much more room within you now. Can you feel it? It's tingling and sparkling with tiny new flames of warmth and sunshine for all the new things to grow, to blossom, to take you over with passion and renewed inspiration for the possibilities of the unknown. Do not fear it. The chrysalis is just a temporary phase of the unknown that is potent for magic. You do not have to walk around with the heaviness of those bones anymore, Pisces. Let them go. Leave them behind. Dissolve yourself. Be open to transformation. We cannot always stay the same. We must evolve. There are so many things that want to grow within you and around you. Let them grow. The unknown holds great transformation and possibility for you. Trust it. It's time. I don't know why I'm getting this strong message that you could be attracting a Libra. I don't know why. Libra had a very similar vibe going on, and you had the Queen of Swords several times. So I do believe there is something going on. Someone who has fire and air, okay? And it's going to really suit your watery world element, okay? Female or male, doesn't matter. It is showing up in Queen. This person's very grounded and, and balanced in their divine feminine and divine masculine. In fact, that was the Libra card where they were actually working on that balance. So I don't know why, but you might not be surprised if you have someone coming towards you in the near future or has come towards you with a strong element of air or fire, okay? Ask spirit for the bravery and guidance it takes to fully navigate and surrender to your rebirth. This is how we can get the ultimate potential of it, to let it be what it's meant to be, however that process may look or however long it may take. Psychologically, you will need to get comfortable with being uncomfortable, with making new and different choices, with thinking and being in new ways, with living in unfamiliar territory, with taking risks. Those old ways are no longer serving you. Lead more with your soul, your soul, and less with your ego, okay? She's wrestling with the wolf inside her, okay? You no longer wanna be wrestling with the ego, okay? Tame the wild wolf inside of you. Learn to sleep and, and run with the wolves, not fight the wolves. I love that book. Women Who Run With The Wolves. Epic, epic, epic book. All right. Wow. Now that was a journey indeed. I hope you enjoyed traveling with me for a little while today. I enjoy this. I, I can't help, but I mean, I hope I meet a Pisces. <laughs> wow. I'm telling you what. Oh, I think that you're on your way to bringing in the highest soulmate contract and alignment with, I think your ideal, your ideal. I'm getting that for a lot of you. You're calling in the person you've been waiting for. The person that you maybe mistook other people for being. You're going to know them when they show up because they're going to have integrity and they're going to have done a lot of work on themselves as well. And you're going to have a common vision. You got to share that common vision if you're coming together with someone in love or if you're currently with someone in love where you both are striving to be more authentic with one another and to grow together and to deepen, okay? It, you feel, I said this to Scorpio, it's something I'm learning too is that the best relationships are the ones where you can hold each other's wounding and you feel safe. You feel safe and you get to be the best version of yourself possible with this person, okay? This is what the universe wants for us. This is what it means to live a divinely guided soulmate contract, okay? And with the ego drama, chaos types of relationships, you know them because they're marked by a great deal of anxiety within you, okay? And a lot of confusion. Should I stay? Should I go? I don't know what to do, okay? The right person, 
You're not going to feel any of that, all right? I hope you enjoyed this message. Take care.